Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Heroes can come from unlikely beginnings. And broken friendships can lead to dark rivalry. When the world is in danger, fate calls on the ordinary to do extraordinary deeds. And go on journeys they had only dreamed of. Our heroes, thrown together by fate, must now seek help from a legendary inventor. But the question remains, will it be enough to save the world? This is so cool! The amount of engineering it must have taken to do this? Automated train tracks running all through the nether? Connecting all the different order members? And imagine the scaffolding you'd need to make all this. Eligard was probably fighting off zombie pigmen with one hand, wiring redstone with the other. This is impressive! Thanks to these rails, we'll be there in no time. If we don't get the order back together, the Witherstorm is going to eat everything. We're gonna get to Eligard, get her to help us, and we're gonna save the world. I hope you're right. We definitely stand a better chance with Eligard's help. Uh... Jesse! <gasps> ah! Ow! 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 Hide! Great! More gas! The mine carts! Do something about the gas! Okay, think fast, Jesse. What to choose? So long as you really know what you're doing with it. Word. Ah! Okay, we're all set to go again. Hitting the power tracks now. Time to move, buddy. Let's go. I never doubted you for a second, but but that was incredible. Maybe we have a chance of getting to Eligard after all. Look! There's the sign! Redstonia! Redstonia, here we come! We're about to meet the greatest redstone builders in the world! Wow! Who would have thought that someday I'd really get to visit Redstonia? Eligard's capital city of engineering. Incredible! Do you think Eligard will be willing? You know... To help us? Yeah.
much I value and adore each and every one of you. Your hard work inspires me every day. Jesse, there she is. I am about to enter my dome of concentration, where I will be unreachable for the foreseeable future. But I will emerge when I complete my latest and greatest creation, the command block. So please, continue working, continue building, and whichever person most impresses me, they shall be my protege. Ready to help usher in a new era of innovation and creativity. Calvin, throw the switch. Jesse, we need to get there before she totally locks herself in. Ah, uh, crap. <coughs> Excuse me, Mr. Calvin, was it? We need to speak to Eligard. It's urgent. Oh, I'm afraid that's quite impossible. Did you hear the speech? She's on lockdown until she completes her next great invention. But lucky for you, I'm here. How can I help you? Sure, if you can save the world. No, uh... I'm afraid not. Look, I can tell you're not from around here. Level with me. Who are you? Why do you need to see Eligard? We don't do tours this time of year. I must tell you. I'm here to reassemble the Order, all right? You know the Order? Eligard's old gang? Hmm. You must admit that this all sounds a little outlandish. Jesse, show him the amulet. This is Gabriel's amulet. It's how I got here. It's how I found Eligard in the first place. Oh my. Well, that is interesting. If you'd like, I could send that to Eligard. Maybe that would help your mission. Might not be a bad idea. No way. Gabriel gave this amulet to me. No way am I parting with it. Well, fine then. I don't have time for this. I'm afraid I have many more things to attend to than answering all of your questions. I must go. Better just take this repeater and disable the stair controls. We don't want any troublemakers disturbing Eligard. Guess we'll need to get another repeater. Right. Just take off? Oh, I never thought she'd actually be able to do it. Oh, you didn't. She's the one with the dream of flying. And the one with the paralyzing fear of heights. Well, I think it's what she wanted. Anyway. <laughs> Stupid cow launching. <laughs> <clears throat> you must be here to see my incredible auto farmer. Why waste time planting sugarcane when it could be planting itself? Auto farming, huh? What's the deal with that? Oh, it's real simple. Planting sugarcane takes time. With my system, that's time you save and put right back in your rhetorical time pocket. I've really got to see Eligard. Oh, I see. Trying to prove how much you want the spot as her protege so I'll be intimidated? <laughs> well, it's not working. 
You got a repeater? Sorry, already used all mine. I got some redstone torches, though. I'll just be going, then. If you need a better way to plant sugarcane, you know where to look. Oh, she's driving me nuts with that! Sheesh! Yeah, I can see that. Listen, if you could do something about that whole situation, I'll hook you up with some primo crafting stuff. Deal? I'll see what I can do. Can't help but notice you checking out my cowapult, friend. It's got an easy-to-use lever right there. So feel free to fling a cow, or maybe you'd like to try it on your piggy there first? <gasps> Oh, believe me, he'll love it. I've never known a cow not to like it. Of course not. Pig, you're seriously missing out here. <laughs> Congratulations. You've just managed to catapult a cow for no apparent reason. Nothing. Worth a shot, I guess. Hi there! What? what Look, you're gonna have to speak up there! Oh, I just said hi! Much better! What can I do for you? You wanna see my TNT cannon? You say something? How does your machine work? Still a work in progress! But eventually, it'll launch people high into the air! so they can see for miles around! Cool, theoretically. Do you have a repeater I could use? Sorry, none of those to spare. Can you get us in the dome? What? Can't hear ya! But if it's about getting into Eligard's dome, no can do. Sorry. I like you, sport. Here, have some redstone dust. Dust from a strange man. Cool. It's not safe! Duck! Watch your language, Missy! Taking care of that cow launching nut job over there. The constant splashing and mooing was driving me nuts. Here, take these as a token of my gratitude. That's some primo crafting material right there. Awesome, thanks. Okay, I can do this. Redstone repeater, redstone repeater, redstone repeater. Done. Pretty nice, if I may compliment myself. Okay, that's a step in the right direction. Switch is on. Okay, good, good. Switch is on. That doesn't seem super useful. I'm working on it, Olivia. These aren't exactly labeled, you know. Bam! Door open. Wow, 
Here it is. Eligard's Redstone Laboratory. Seems more like an entrance or a foyer or something. Don't worry, pal. We'll find her. I just hope she can actually help us. redstone stuff I've ever seen in my life. You can say that again. Come on, let's keep moving. Yeah, what are those things even for? Maybe, I don't know, breaking things up, keeping intruders out. There are lots of possibilities. Okay, almost. Definitely a step in the right direction. Yeah. Nicely done, Jesse. You're pretty good at this. Hey, what can I say? Me and the Redstone just speak to each other. Uh huh. She's moving a lot of different ingredients around here. Man. Look at all this, huh? Whatever she's working on, if it requires all of these ingredients. Now, I don't want to alarm you, Olivia, but I have no idea what I'm looking at here. I don't know what it is yet either. That's why I'm studying. Come on, let's keep moving. Awesome. Are those bats? Yeah. I wonder why she even has that circuit. Like I dreamt it. Entering Eligard's laboratory, seeing her right there. She'll ask me to be her apprentice, and the next thing you know, we'll be changing the world together. Let's just try to save the world first. Time to pace back and forth and check the systems. Inventory request. Operational. Delivery latency? Speedy. Whoa! Hi! Hey! Didn't see you sneaking up on me. <laughs> Guess that's the point. Don't touch anything in here, okay? It's all supremely fragile and genius. Did Calvin send you? You my new assistants? New assistants with a stupidly <laughs> adorable pig, that is. <laughs> Eligard. No time for specifics, I'm afraid. Hey, you. Goggle girl. Switch on that T-flop circuit to activate the delivery chutes. And you, non-goggle guy? Grab me a blaze rod and an iron block. She wants me to do something for her. What if I screw it up? What if I... Oh, I feel... 
Lightheaded. Wow, now I need an assistant to help with my assistant. Think you can handle it on your own? Olivia? O Olivia, can you hear me? I don't think that I've ever fainted before. Ugh, so embarrassing. Everything working over... <laughs> hmm. Fine, I I'll just do it myself then. Number 6,451. Another bust. Now, about you three. Uh, your friend here. Does she fall over frequently? Is this gonna be a regular occurrence? I... no. I'm sorry. I was just so excited to... And with me always pacing around, lost in my own brilliant thoughts, I could have tripped over you and conked my brain. Eligard, we've actually got much bigger problems to deal with. We're actually here to get your help. There's a giant wither storm, and it's attacking the entire world. A wither what? What are you talking about? Who who sent you? Was it Calvin? Calvin? Gabriel sent me. Look, you both seem like very pleasant people who are prone to fainting, but I simply don't have the brain power for this. I'm in the middle of my greatest project to date. A powerful block capable of altering reality itself. <laughs> I'm so close, I can practically taste it. And it tastes like victory. I've seen one of those before. It's a command block. Wait, 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 wait. How do you know what a command block is? Not to seem belittling, but we are talking about some mega, ultra genius level stuff here. This is what I've been trying to tell you. The world needs the Order of the Stone. That's why we're here. Ugh, sorry to bust your circuits, but the Order isn't really together anymore. We, uh, sort of disassembled. That's actually kind of why we're here. Gabriel's amulet. This certainly changes things. So do you believe us now? Yes. This is serious indeed. All the more reason why I need to finish my command block. I can use it to fight this witherstorm monster thing or whatever. Necessity is the originator of invention. And that monster is my necessity for inventing, of which I am the originator. Is that even possible? Can you really do that? This is the Eligard you're talking to. Who is me, if you're confused. And I, Eligard, will make a command block today. Your Witherstorm problem was created by a command block, yes? That means a command block could be the perfect way of beating it. And maybe- Will you help me make one? It's going to work this time. I can feel it. Right here, in my brain. You're the genius, Eligard. Let's get started. Fantastic.
so, so sorry. Just a little farther. Well, that's certainly impressive. Wow. Yeah. Oh! Who goes there? Oh, Jesse? Is that you? Just let us in, Lucas. I'm so glad you're back. And we brought Eligard! Fantastic! Quick, come on. You guys are never gonna believe who showed up while you were gone. Petra! Okay, guys. How's it going? I'm so glad you're okay, Petra. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked about it myself. And it's really good to see you, Jesse. Back there in Gabriel's bunker... I don't understand. How did you escape? You pulled me out of that Witherstorm's crutches, and I ran and ran and ran for the temple. If you hadn't saved me, well, I owe you everything, Jesse. I'm just glad I heard Gabriel telling you where to go. Wow. Did Gabriel get away too? Did you see? It's all a blur, but the Witherstorm left almost nothing behind. Everything. Everyone. Was just gone. It even got Gabriel. I wouldn't believe that anything could defeat Gabriel if I hadn't seen it for myself. This is terrible. Boy, can't remember the last time I saw this place. Would someone care to explain what he is doing here? Call this a hunch, but do you two not like each other? Right. I forgot to mention. Axel went on a little adventure of his own while you were gone. An adventure to get him? Did you know about this? Why didn't you tell me? You did this on purpose. Hey, Axel's my friend, okay? I didn't know he was going to get Magnus. You gotta believe me. Well, I hope you're not expecting me to work with that cretin. Look, just wait here a second while I figure out what's going on. Much appreciated. So, who are you then? And why'd you bring the Queen of the Nerds with you? That's Jesse, my best friend. Trust me, Jesse's totally cool. Yeah, and you two are going to have to get along, okay? We didn't even know you were gonna be here. That makes two of us then. But reverse, for me. I got tired of waiting around, so I decided to go recruit Magnus myself. It was kind of a crazy adventure, but it all worked out in the end. And now, I'm the King of Boomtown. Ah! We've been bonding and stuff. Boomtown? That's the name of Magnus's kingdom. I had to beat him in a crazy tournament and... Long story, you had to be there. Short version, epic battle of explosions and mayhem, death-defying action, shenanigans, and pyrotechnic. Bada-bing, bada-boom! Your friend here is kind of supreme ruler of my kingdom now, you know what I mean? 
Well, this is unexpected. I'm not entirely sure what you mean. But I'm definitely sure that I don't like it. Yeah, show him some respect. Oh, you're sticking up for Magnus. That's very... sweet. Yeah, he's sticking up for me. It's because I'm really awesome and super cool. Would you all cut it out? Holy crap, you're all acting like crazy people. Uh, people, can we please focus on the bigger picture? We have a very hungry Witherstorm in the process of turning the whole world into its dinner. It was terrifying. It came out of nowhere and just destroyed everything. A little too scary for you, Ellie? Couldn't just think it away? You weren't there, Magnus. I'm telling you, this thing was like nothing I've ever seen. Why? Because it's never come inside one of your little workshops? Hey, hey, yes, it's scary, but it's nothing we can't handle, all right? We're gonna do this. Okay, how? Jesse's right. We need to find some way to stop that thing. Well, I don't know if you've had the chance to poke around this old dump yet, but it's pretty much stripped bare. It would take a mountain of TNT to kill that thing. I hate to say it, but you have a point. This is amazing. I know. So what are we gonna do? How are we gonna stop it? Well, let's not panic, first of all. That's a good first step. But against such an unthinkable enemy, even all the TNT in the world might not be enough. If only Soren were here, he might have something we could use. Oh, Ellie, not this again. You know I hate when you brag about you and Soren's little brainy club. I'm not bragging. I think I've got a legitimate idea here. What are you talking about? What did Soren have? Soren had a kind of super TNT. Stronger and more explosive than anything else in the world. The Formidabomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard all about the F-bomb before. F-bomb? Yeah. Soren claimed that dropping the F-bomb could destroy anything. This thing sounds Im impossible. How could it even exist? Impossible objects were Soren's specialty. We don't know where Soren is. But you found us. Do you know where he is? Our map could locate him. Unless he's in the nether, or the end. But it's worth a shot. I bet we can find him. Hello, Eligard. You said you know how to activate the map? I'm very curious to see it. I've never actually seen it work before. How are you, Petra? Fine. You okay? We can talk about it later. Let's just do this map for now. Hey, Axel, how are you doing? I'm hanging out with Magnus. I'm doing awesome. Glad to hear it, buddy. Hey, Magnus. Hey, Small Fry. No shame in admitting you can't turn that thing on. It's very, very sophisticated. I'm going, I'm going. I know what I'm doing. How are you holding up, Lucas? I'm all right. This has all been pretty intense. I feel like if I think too much about what's been going on... Well, just keep it together, okay? Can't afford to have you cracking on me. Hey, I'll be okay. Don't worry about me. Your light, my light. That's new. There he is. Soren had his fortress deep inside the mountains. After the order broke up, that's where he went to keep doing his experiments. Look, he invited me there a couple times, but it always seemed a little... Weird, right? 
It always seemed a little weird. Glad we can agree on that at any rate. I mean, I never actually went there with him. Then let's stop hanging around here and go get us some super TNT. Whoa. It didn't do that before. Are you sure it's working? Blue? That's Ivor! Ivor is going to Soren's. We need to move! It's not too far. We could probably make it on foot. Righteous! We'll get some rest and head out first thing in the morning. Avoiding all the nighttime and monsters and everything. If you had seen that monster, you wouldn't be saying that. We need to leave. Now! I think it's following us, Magnus. And I don't want to risk it catching up with us. We have to go. Now. Yeah, I don't want the Witherstorm catching up with us. We should go now. An excellent call, Jesse. And far more decisive than either of us are being. What a coincidence that it's your plan. But fine. Okay, everyone, let's get moving. Yo, we haven't really gotten a chance to chat yet. Oh, hello. I heard you saved your friend back there from this Witherstorm thing. You're pretty tough, huh? A regular iron golem, huh? I'm just doing my best to keep everyone safe. Humility. Nice. I can dig it. Kinda wish you had my back before, but whatever. Still seem all right. Ish. What's the deal with your buddy Axel? Can't tell if he's awesome or a little bit of a dork. He's just a little, uh, doofy, you know? He's like a little puppy. You don't know whether you want to hug it or just walk away. Axel's one of my best friends. He makes me laugh and he always sticks up for his friends. Interesting. Very interesting. Then why didn't you listen to his plan to come get me? Was I just not your cup of tea, or didn't think you could handle it? Frankly, I don't think it's any of your business. Hey, whoa! Clearly I touched a nerve, huh? <laughs> well, just keep on your toes. Why I said we should have waited till morning. We wouldn't need to worry about any of this crap. At least we're keeping ahead of the wither storm. We can hash all that out later, because we got some monsters to fight here, people. Daytime. How far is Soren? It has to be close, right? Not much farther, we can make it! Yeah, and I'm really not feeling those columns. 
Ah, oh, come on! It's fine! Look! Woo! Don't fall, okay? Oh, that is deep. That is very, very deep. and thought I would come down to help. <laughs> Endermen. There are so many. I didn't think they ever came in groups that big. That was pretty reckless, Lucas. You could have gotten hurt. walks away. That's it. I'm going. See? I'm walking away too now. Super TNT. Here I come. It's hard to pick glass half full when they keep kicking the glass over. And I thought they were doing so well. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far. Bickering is kind of their deal. But hopefully they'll work things out and get on with the important stuff. What are we going to do now? Where should we go? Let's figure it out. Petra, are you okay? I'm sorry. I don't mean to worry you. I've just got something I want to discuss with you in private. Well, let's split up. bad about ditching everyone else, but I just wanted to talk to you about this alone. It's a little tough to talk about. Hey, whatever it is, I trust you. You can tell me. Thanks for being so understanding. You got me away from the wither storm, but I'm worried that I didn't get away soon enough. What? It showed up not too long after you saved me. What happened? The Wither made you sick? Do you know what Wither is? The Wither? Of course, we've been- No, Jesse. Just Wither. Or Wither Sickness, I guess. And I feel like it's just gonna keep getting worse. Well, we're gonna go back and tell the others we can get help. You can't tell anyone about this. <sighs> ah! Ah! Creeper! Grab my hand, pull you up. Jesse, I just couldn't. I'm sorry. Jesse? Don't worry, I'm fine. Okay, I got this. Stay safe. I'll find a way down to you.
must have something useful in here. He has to! Hey, show yourself. Who's there? <gasps> you. Trying to interfere with my plans again, I see. Your tenacity is commendable, yet misguided. What are you doing down Being here? Being rudely interrupted by you. I'm here with the order to find Soren's Super TNT. We're gonna take down your Witherstorm. The order? <laughs> Believe me, that plan will blow up in their faces in more ways than one. They cannot help you. But me? I choose not to. Out of my way. Move! Wait, but I... Oh, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> Petra, you escaped? <laughs> ah, foolish girl! I... Shut up. I don't care what you have to say. I'm just gonna take you down. I'm not letting you leave either. Good. I'm the only one who can stop the wither storm! Not you, not the order! Don't make yourselves the villains in my story. You're not going anywhere. This could have all been avoided. If you want to stop me, you'll have to catch me first. Jesse, look out! Not getting out of here that easy, Ivor. <laughs> uh, I'm like the wind. Jesse, you could have just let me go. <laughs> now you see me. Now you. <laughs> it's one of his invisibility potions. He could be anywhere. Vanish all you want, slime ball. You're still not going anywhere. <laughs> End of the rail, Ivor. We're not letting you get away. One's on you, you puffed up fool! of slowness. Magnus and Eligard may think they can stop me, that they can destroy the Wither Storm, but they are mistaken, and it will cost them their lives. Next time on Minecraft Story Mode. In pursuit of answers, all our heroes found in Sauron's armory was deceit and treachery. Locked in a dark chamber deep in Sauron's mountain, as the Order of the Stone rides off towards near certain doom, our heroes must ask themselves, would they find a way out of this dark tomb? Is there any way to cure Petra's wither sickness? Would they find a way to defeat the wither storm? Or would they remain 
trapped as it continues its ravenous rampage across the entire world? Only time will tell. <laughs>